I am <clears throat> reading again from a book of uh, poems by Carl Sandburg. I've done this before, and the thing that moves me about his stuff is the visceral, hard, assertive, direct, specific attack of his poetry and of the standards that are in his poetry. <clears throat> Previously, I've read on video a poem about uh, uh, a ferry boat disaster in Chicago. The Eastland, I think, was the name of the boat. Also, one about the manner and antics of uh, revival evangelist Billy Sunday. Uh, Sandberg had a real problem with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the one I want to read today comes from a section about African-American personalities of note. And I'm telling you beforehand, uh, the first one I'm going to read is, is hard. It's really hard. I'm going to have to set the uh, tablet down, and you're not going to see much while I read, but that's the way it goes when you only have two hands. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the poem. title is Elizabeth Umpstead. I am Elizabeth Umpstead, dead at 75 years of age, and they are taking me in a polished and silver-plated box today. And an undertaker, assured of cash for his work, will supply straps to let the box down the lean dirt walls, while a quartet of singers, assured of cash for their work, sing nearer my God to thee and a clergyman also assured of cash for his services <laughs> will pronounce the words dust to dust and ashes to ashes. I'm gone from among the two-legged moving figures on top of the earth now, and nobody will say my heart is some way wrong when I assert that I was the most beautiful nigger girl in northern Indiana. And men wanted my beauty, men, and, and white men and black men, take it and crush it and taste it and I learned what they wanted and I traded on it I schemed and haggled to get all I could for it and so I am one nigger girl who today has a grand funeral with all the servitors paid in spot cash <clears throat> I learned early way back in short dresses when a lawyer took me and used me the same as a brass cuspidor or a new horse and buggy or a swivel chair or anything that gives more life ease for spot cash. He paid $600 cash to me for the keep of the child of my womb and his loins. And then he went to a revival saying Jesus knows all about our troubles, moaned he was a sinner and wanted Jesus to wash his sins away. He joined the church and stood up one night before hundreds of people and blabbed to them how he used me, had a child by me and paid me $600 cash. And I waited till one night I saw him in the public square and I slashed his face with a leather horsewhip, calling all the wild crazy names that came to my tongue to damn him and damn him and damn him for a sneak in the face of God and man. Now I'll continue with the next one and then I'll stop. This one's called Black Prophetess. And it's hitting at the religious aspect of the Afro-American and, and probably in a somewhat Pentecostal vein too about signs and wonders and prophecy. I makes my living washing. I keeps, I keeps happy at the feet of Jesus. My husband ain't saved, he's wicked, but the Bible says a sanctified wife shall sanctify her husband and save him. I'm living in Chicago, but I call Ohio my home because I lived in Cincinnati and Columbus and Toledo, and I was in Dayton a week before the waters swept Dayton. <coughs> and I stood on the public square and warned him of destruction 
I got four permits from the police in Chicago to stand on the street corners and warn the people of destruction. I told them about the Eastland and the war before those things happened. Three years ago, the police gave me my last permit to warn the people of destruction. And I got a right to stand on any corner south of 12th Street. They tell me it's a free country and I can talk God's destruction all I want just so I don't go downtown. I got five daughters. The oldest is in Philadelphia. She makes prophecies too. I make prophecies when the Spirit moves me. Yesterday, I felt the Spirit stirring me up. I saw blood up to the bridles of the horses. I saw the mark of the beast. When the Bible speaks of a beast, it means a king. The kings all got to go. God is cleansing the earth. He's going to make it all clean, and Jesus is going to come again and live a thousand years. I go to the newspapers with my prophecies, but they don't print them. If you print this, when will it be in the paper? I'll stop there. Interesting stuff, I believe. Ahem. <clears throat>